All right, coming up in today's video, Treb released the latest numbers for March. So we're gonna deep dive into Toronto real estate market numbers for March. Stay tuned, coming up next. <laughs> All right, Michael Jacobs, Zach, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell for more great updates on the Toronto real estate market. Uh, today, like I said, Toronto Real Estate Board released their latest numbers for March. So we're going to deep dive into the stats. Uh, starting off with sales, we hit 7,187, which is virtually flatline exactly like last year, which you'll notice a lot of these stats are going to be very similar for um, you know last year this time. New listings, just under 14,000, which last year we hit uh, 14,753. Um, so that's trending down and that is a stat that continues to hurt us um, or buyers in the market because of, you know, lack of inventory. It's making the market conditions very tight. A lot of neighborhoods being very competitive and, and for that prices are continue to uh, increase. Active listings right now are 15575 which again, that's down from last year. Average price is up from last year, but very slightly. It's at seven or 786,335. Days on market, virtually the same as last year. It's at 21 versus last year at 20. Now jumping into the sales breakdown a little bit more, uh, with the 416, detached market hit 671, which is actually down 4% on a year over year basis. Uh, you have semi-detaches hit 215, which was down again, 8.5%. Um, townhouses at 296, which is up 15.2%. And condos down 14.1% in total sales from last year at 1349. Now the 905 compared to the 416, a little more positive in terms of the numbers uh, with sales growing um, in the 905. Detached hit 2,559, up 6.8%. Um, Semi-detaches up slightly at 1.6%. Total uh, units sold 456. Uh, your townhouses 957 up, you know, double digits 11.1%. And condos up slightly 1.7%. Total units 616. Now these numbers obviously definitely have uh, when we're talking about total sales. Mainly, a lot of people have been looking a little bit further, you know, out of the uh, 416. Um, looking at the suburbs as a more, um, you know, better bang for your buck because when we can, you know, consider the average price of what stuff's selling in Toronto, you know, it's making you second guess that, hey, maybe I don't mind being a little bit further from work and uh, looking in the suburbs to uh, stretch your money and also just getting priced out of the uh, Toronto market. Uh, when we're comparing average price with the 416905, uh, you know, like I said, this is one of the main reasons why many people have been, uh, you know, just looking a little bit further out because when we're talking about detached homes, you know, in Toronto average price, uh, 1.267, 598 versus 910,624. Um, you know, both these numbers are down on a year over year basis, but again, price points and, you know, stress tests and all that definitely hurting these numbers for anyone in this uh, bracket. Um, Semi-detached is, you know, quite different in terms of price points. You've got 1.020561 versus 680,501. So this, when you're looking, anyone that's looking for semi-detached, obviously your, you know, money goes way further, a little bit out. Um, on the 905, it's up 4.5% on your rear basis, down 1.3 on the Toronto side. Um, townhouses. In the 416, 741,881 versus 617,226. Um, these are both up slightly in Toronto, 0.4%, 1.2 in the 905. Condo market obviously has been doing quite well still. Um, in Toronto, 603,969 versus 463,774. Um, again, both up 2.3% in Toronto, 3.3 in the 905. Now, overall, when con uh, comparing quarter one with last year's quarter, we're essentially, you know, dead even with last year, um, you know, with the exception of fewer listings, um, which is not helping our supply issue. You know, it's creating a lot of co competition throughout, you know, neighborhoods and price brackets. Um, you know, 
Trebs arguing, obviously, uh, the stress test is uh, causing a lot more damage than, uh, you know, on the overall market than anything positive. Um, they're arguing that, obviously, you know, provisions be made or at least addressed um, in terms of mortgage guidelines, you know, maybe increasing the amortization, um, you know, rate in terms for insurable mortgages. Um, you know, they're really stressing the supply issue, which is great. I love to hear that because that is essentially, um, you know, our biggest factor of what's happening in our city with the gap of, uh, you know, from detached to, uh, you know, lower density, um, you know, alternatives. Um, obviously with the lack of new listings, ownership and the rental gap continue to grow where either you're renting for the rest of your life or if you're lucky uh, and you own, you're probably not moving because there's not many options for you. So uh, Trebs, you know, more, all for obviously uh, with the new action plan for uh, 2020 and 2030 uh, to be a big part of that with the, um, you know, proposal that the federal government's making. Uh, they want to be a big part of that and obviously raise the issue of supply issues a little more, um, you know, concentrate on that. And I do agree with them on this because, like I said, over and over in these videos, we definitely need um, more and more supply to come into this market to allow the market to breathe and, um, you know, let those prices kind of settle down because, you know, although sales are dropping, the problem is um, your inventory is dropping even faster, which is just creating more and more price increases throughout and is not obviously helping the average person get into anything anytime soon. So there you have it. That is our market update. Those are the numbers for March. Again, anyone following the market from last year, you're looking at the same situation, which, you know, although sales were low, prices continue to increase. So it's something to keep in mind depending on what you're looking for. And like I said, if you are looking in the city, maybe you might want to stretch that out to see potentially the better deals that you know are further out. But uh, I'd like to hear your comments on this. Like, comment, share, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Take care.